What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another DIY video. We're here in the garage. This is my 2023 British Racing Green GADM3 X-Drive Comp. That's a mouthful, I know. Anyway, we've already done some mods on the car as you guys have already seen on some of my previous videos, but today we've got a little care package from Keys Motorsports. We are actually going to be putting a hood latch in the car. Yes, a new hood latch because the current one that BMW provides is plastic, it's cheapo, it's ugly. And um, there are other companies that have kind of aluminum, nice aluminum made um, hood latches and Keys Motorsports finally came out with their own version. And this thing looks really, really nice. So let's show you guys what we got. All right, so huge thanks to the team over at Keys Motorsports for sponsoring today's video. Again, this is going to be a aluminum hood latch and they do have little DIY instructions here if you need it. They have a really good tutorial and you know, kind of tell you some reasoning as to why they decided to build one of these. But this is super nice, high quality, as usual as everything is from Keys Motorsports. So it does come in this nice little package here with a little keys bag, that's really cute. Good job, Brian. They spent a lot of time figuring out how to make this thing and make it look really, really nice. So this is actually anodized 66 aluminum. So it's nice and heavy, nice and weighted. And how this is different from some of the other aluminum ones on the market, it not only looks good, but it also has a dual function because as you guys can see here, it's not only just a regular hood latch, but it is also a 10 millimeter. So that's super helpful and very, very unique that they've decided to create something like this. So the stock one, as you guys know, is totally plastic. BMW um, does have to cheap out on certain things in order to keep prices you know, lower. Um, but when you get into a nice exotic car, you'll know that a lot of the finishing on the inside is a little bit nicer. So this is really going to step up the interior just a little bit more. Um, and Keys Motorsports did a fantastic job. And so this is completely, uh, basically plug and play. The good thing is, if you ever needed a 10 millimeter, um, Brian has a good example on his YouTube channel um, about why he decided to add a 10 mil here because 10 mil is the most common socket to you know lose. And so they decided since they have just this little extra space down here, why not throw a 10 mil on here? Because in Brian's situation, his car almost caught fire. If you guys didn't see that video, I will have a link in the description below and you can check out their DIY video, but he explains the whole process of the uh, R&D behind this. And so basically, um, long story short, his car, uh, his port injection, you know, wiring back there started to melt. They were smelling a burning smell. And so he opened the trunk, popped open the, um, the trunk, uh, trunk mat up in the air and saw that the port injection wiring was starting to smoke. And so he needed to quickly release um, and disconnect it from the battery. And fortunately, since he had one of these in the car, he was able to quickly grab this and remove the 10 millimeter on the battery in order to disconnect it. And so again, this is multi-purpose, so this will fit perfectly um, down here, just like a factory fitting basically, and it'll be a hood latch and it's completely removable. And you can easily use this on this side for the 10 mil to disconnect your battery if you have to. Um, Additionally, I do want to point out that the finger, you know, this area here where your fingers go, super ergonomic. It feels really, really nice. And they even extended it down here a little further to, uh, you know, further than the factory one because it's easier to grab onto. And they have a little point on it because if you guys aren't aware in the trunk, there's a mat there that you have to lift up in order to get to the battery. So let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so pop in the trunk here underneath You'll see here that BMW, if I can get all this out of the way real quick. So I do have a mat here, but underneath here, there's the carpeting mat. And it's extremely difficult to grip, grab this up. Compared to e, uh, you know previous models, it was a lot easier to get your hand in here. But you can see I can't even get my fingers in here to lift this. So a lot of the time I have to use a trim tool. So this is where Brian's idea here really comes to fruition because you can easily put this in just like that and prop this up and get access underneath here to the battery. So really, really smart thinking on their end. Additionally, for in terms of install, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute, this is super easy. It does have this nice little Allen screw back here that is kind of adjustable. You can um, basically adjust how much tension you want on it. And so that way, if you want it to be a little bit tighter, you could you know, pull it off a little bit tighter, but there's basically a ball that's inside of here that is going to hold this into place. But just go ahead and look at this, it's this beautiful.
And in terms of compatibility, this will fit on a G2X as well as the G8X model. So if you're looking for one, just make sure you've got one of those and this will be a really simple and easy plug and play solution. And just to show you guys what the stock one looks like, again, totally plastic. And I'll show you a better comparison of the two when I get this one uninstalled, but you can just see the quality difference. This is nice and weighted, feels really good versus the cheap plastic one that BMW uses. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove this and swap on the new one. All right, so this is gonna be a super simple installation, but in order to remove the stock one, you just need to pull this up. So we'll probably release the hood here, pull up in its highest position. There is a little notch underneath here. Take a little flathead screwdriver and put it in that little notch until this opens up right there. So this will come out just like so. Then you can lower this back down and pull this straight out. And just to show you that here again on the table. So all I did was I lifted the handle. This was lifted the handle all the way up as far as it would go. And underneath here, you can see that there's this little notch. So if you take a little flathead screwdriver or pick tool, you can easily prop that out like that. And it will pull out, pull this all the way out, and then just pull straight off. Very, very simple. And then here's a nice side-by-side -side of the two. Here's the plastic stock one from BMW. And as you guys can see, it's not very deep. So it's hard to get your fingers in here. I mean, you can only get your fingertips on so because there's this extra plastic here for no apparent reason versus the keys version, which goes all the way through. I can easily get my fingers all the way back there in order to open it. So very, very nice. And when reinstalling, it's super, super simple. So it literally just goes right on into place because again, it does have this little ball inside of here, little ball bearing right there. So you just wanna make sure that that is still in there. And again, if you wanted to, if you wanted additional tension on it, you could take an Allen here and tighten it and make it a little bit more tight, but it does come pretty much pre-tightened as, you know, as needed. So all we need to do is go ahead and slap this back on and we're good to go. And it'll go on just the same exact way. Line this up and just push on just like that. It snaps into place and we have full functionality. And if we ever need to pull it off, you know, our, our car is on fire, like in Brian's situation, and we need to disconnect the battery, just grab it, pull it straight off. So that's got a, a good amount of tension already. Snaps right back in. Very, very easy. Super, super nice. This is really high quality stuff here. Super awesome. All right guys, so super simple install as you guys can see. And again, all these little details typically add up and I am a huge sucker for the details. So, so again, huge thanks to the Brian and the team over at Keys Motorsports for sending this over and sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for one of these, I will have a link in the video description below. Definitely check out keysmotorsports.com. And again, we will have plenty of content, a lot to do with the G80. So stay tuned for all that. We'll see you guys on the next video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you then. Take care.